Hey everybody, welcome to the Eyesight Design Boston office. We're here 22 days away from the big event, Delight 2012. I know everyone's looking forward to it. We're hard at work planning. Um, we're selling the event fast. We've got a lot of people registered and we're fortunate to have here with us the keynote speaker here for 2012, Dave Winicky. Uh, for those of you that don't know Dave, he works with us here in the Boston office. He's a digital strategy practice lead for the agency. But beyond that, Dave, you're pretty well traveled. Um, Dave gets around the globe from keynoting events at London, you're a prolific blogger, you're teaching graduate courses at Northeastern and Rutgers. So, Delight 2012, I mean, Dave, what this gets you it. excited about it? Delight 2012, this is it. And the reason this is it is the difference between heaven and hell is who you're with. And take a look at the lineup of speakers who are coming in. You know, communications is about saying stuff, but experience is about getting people to do things. And in each of the speakers, whether it's Jen Rubio or Dave from Mount Hood or the Nordstrom Innovation Lab, they're not about saying things. These are about people who are really designing change. And they're, you know, taking audiences that are in one state and they're solidifying brands, they're creating great experiences. And they're the ones that are doing things in business that really drive both growth and the kind of customer preference that causes notoriety. So you know, it's the lineup of speakers that are going to come in. And then this topic, which isn't about incrementalism, of making things a little more efficient, a little bit more effective. The lighter these experiences that happen on top of that, it may not be constant, but the lighter the things that we remember that really gives meaning and sets of the brands and the people we work with apart. So what you can count on is these people bringing their A-games and both showing you the delight, but also starting to give some of the templates of how they figured it out for their business and what you can do to set yourself apart as well. That's great. I think what you can also count on, we've got voodoo donuts in the morning, we've got ice cream in the afternoon, and there's a wine reception at in the evening. I mean, you could go and not even see the speakers and be delighted at, at the event. But Dave, I mean, you're, you're kicking this whole thing off. You've got the opening session. It's, it's the first, first session to get everyone motivated. Talk about what delight is. So what, I mean, what can the audience expect from this, from this first session you're doing? I can't even tell you. Uh, I will be the Bobcat Goldthwait of customer experience. Let me tell you what I mean. We're going to start off talking about what Delight is not. It's not that incrementalism. It's not marketing as the make it pretty department. We're going to talk about Delight as being a combination of, I, I think it was Love Marks talked about sensuality and intimacy and mystery in the customer experience. And we're going to take examples from John Deere to people who sell industrial gases uh, to you know, some of the universities that we work with. And what we'll talk about is the way that they're cracking that code. So this is going to be pretty hands-on. And uh, it's also, I think, going to set us up to have things to talk about for the rest of the day. So where there are controversies or emerging ideas, we're going to kind of put 10 or 20 great ideas up on the wall. And we're going to have the whole rest of the day to play with that stuff. That's great. I think, I mean, what, part of what gets me excited about this event is that a lot of people talk about customer experience. But very rarely you get people in a room that are actually doing it and hearing from people in terms of what does it take to take a brand like Warby Parker and actually extend that socially and, and have people fall in love with your brand. And I think there's so many lessons that people are going to get from this that, that, that are transferable to businesses that you don't think of delight. But in the spirit of delight, Dave, um, maybe share with us kind of one unexpected tidbit or, or factoid about yourself personally. All right, well, before, uh, before I became a digital strategy guy, my first job was carrying canoes on my back as a trek guide. And I think everything that you need to know about being a marketer, you learn by taking people to really unforgiving, difficult to go to places and find fun in that. And I guess maybe the delight lesson is it's not about the effectiveness. When I've done racing, like canoe racing and dragon boating, it's all about moving a paddle from one position to the next. And often delight is just adjacent to that path. And you see something fantastic, or you meet someone who's incredible. And it's not about the effectiveness of the task, but kind of some of the good things that happen on the journey. And maybe that's a theme that we will dig into when we get together in 22 days? 22 days. Okay, so what I just heard, Dave, 
is that Dave's going to lead a kayaking trip at 6 a.m. before the event for anyone that's interested. Tweet them at Useful Arts. Um, we'll see if you get any takers. But for everybody, we've got 22 days before the event. This event will sell out, so please do get your tickets if you're thinking about coming. And we look forward to seeing you all in Portland. Thank you, and thank you, Dave. See you at Delight.